Brown down to Marble and one. Boy, what a finish through contact by Julius Marble. Instead of going east-west, that meant Mitch Lightfoot had to step up. Abaji a little bit late getting there. And a terrific pass and really good concentration. See, Marble setting that screen and then rolling right to the basket. But nobody's there because Lightfoot has to step up. Already three personal fouls. Bingham going right back inside and working against McMillan. Gets his first two. Bingham and where he posts up. If he catches there and goes straight up like that, it's going to be a long night for the Broncos. Here is Joey Hauser firing a three and leaving it short. A rebound from Bingham, who's left alone for an easy slam. Hey, for Michigan State, too, here's the thing. Effort there on the defensive side, and rightfully so. Hall just kind of let his man get all the way down there. Oh! Falling behind 9-0, Loyola with a chance to tie with a three, but Williamson takes it to the basket, but ripped away by the freshman Christie. And the lob for Hall. They're Getting off, transition. off and running. Hogart to Hall. Down to six. Walker looks for the lob. And it delivers to Bingham. With the lob to end it. Walker, off the ball screen, re-screen, Demarcus Bingham, just throw it up around the rim. The big fella knocks it down. A perfect assist by Tyson Walker off the re-screen. You watch Marcus Bingham above the rim and cans it, knocks it down for two and for the win. One more look. The only field goal in the second half for Bingham came with four seconds to go. Has Michigan State made a fadeaway in this game? No, and they've taken a few of them. Martin dribbles too much and lost it. Browns ahead. Walker. Three ball finds the bottom. Max Switch out, take on a guard. Look at it. Max Christie's the freshman to watch for State. Brown. We had contact block. Count the basket and a foul. Baylor is so good, so quick at rotating over. Bam, the two-footed jump stop right there. A little bit of float by Gabe Brown, but yeah, you're, you're still moving in. Flo Throw it away from the defense, not just to the offense. Williamson couldn't handle it. Hit ahead for Hall. And he lays it in. They're averaging 16.1. Limit those turnovers. Last thing, dominate the paint. Make Toledo guard you down low great block there from Bingham Curry did a great job I would have loved for him just to get his feet underneath him Hauser the trailer he'll launch the three and he hits what Tom Izzo has wanted to see from Joey Hauser let it fly his feet set it's just really good basketball and these are the shots that Joey Hauser really good patience in the post there by John Harrow Harrow went for a double double against Ohio State Bingham knocks down the jumper Brown. Nice pass. To Marble. Off the other Northwestern turnover. Hogard drops it down low to Malik Hall, and now Michigan State is starting to click on offense. The pass is over the top. And A.J. Hogard under control in transition, avoids the charge, sets up Malik Hall. Hauser open for three. Wide left. Rebound to Adige. Nance closed quickly on that shot attempt by Hauser. Adige nearly close to coast until Gabe Brown with a volleyball type spike out of play. Gabe Brown saying no way. Gabe Brown with the rejection. Yeah, usually the ball is supposed to reach the apex for it to be legal. I don't know that it got there. Walker with a quick pull. In and out, but following it up, Max Christie. There were 49,063 free throws in that game. You're telling me. We had to sit through that and watch that. <laughs> Brown into the shot clock. He hits another one from deep. And this might be a misdirection. Try to get Brown. There's a three-pointer and a huge shot. Well, you got a young man struggling, but you wouldn't know it. No hesitation, top of the key. Gives it up to Chrissy. Looking inside. Four in the game. Over to Hogart. Shovel pass there. Oh, Joey Hauser just caught the game at 
at the Breslin Center. And 20 seconds, and it came here. Miss Minnesota has done a really good job of blowing that up. Nice job on the dish right there. A.J. Hogarth on the backdoor cut. Great concentration by Joey Hauser. And Michigan State escapes. Adige now with 14. Been battling through several injuries, including back spasms. And there's a huge answer. Malik Hall hits the three, and he gets fouled as well. Talk about a great pass. And yes, ran through him. Excellent call. And one. About a timely three. They've had good looks here in the last couple possessions, just haven't fallen for them. Hauser, the trail three falls. Hauser on the board from deep. Offensive tip, and then Joey Hauser coming back to Wisconsin for the first time. Hogard the inbound to Hall. Hall fades away, and he hits the two. Malik Hall sends Michigan State into the locker room with a 16-point lead at the break. Job getting behind the defense there, then as the first half was winding. Rebound, Walker. Long miss, long rebound. Into transition, and Brown. Boy, they are off to the races. Those long rebounds. Illinois loves to take shots from the perimeter. Demonte Williams, I'm not really sure it's that much of a mismatch. Williams, one of the tougher defenders in this league, but fast break points have been the story for the Spartans, the last couple possessions, Gabe Brown as good as anybody in this league. All the bluff, four to shoot for Malik Hall. Gotta go, Hall, got it to fall. But Michigan State has played a full 19 minutes and change here in the second half. Averaging just over nine points and six rebounds per game. Half court set here for Michigan State, Bingham. Beautiful. Jump hook over Dickinson. Walker gets cut off there by Collins. Christie, the jumper is good and a foul. A chance at a four-point play. Made from shooting. So you almost had to guess that Tom Izzo is going to try to get him involved, and he's getting himself involved. This is coming off a game against Michigan, or I'm just thinking this is one of the best at times I've ever seen him play. Same to be said about Wisconsin now, right on cue. There he is, well, and he missed it, but the follow's there for Hauser. Tyson Walker, off the screen from Bingham. Hall bluffs the shot with three. He spun it in! Oh, what a take by Malik Hall. You're gonna see right here, it's a simple ball screen action. You come off, if you're Tyson Walker, you're reading the roll guy. The contact that Bingham gets is so essential to the play because it makes Dante Scott just a little bit late. You gotta respect Hall's ability to shoot and you also have to understand he's gonna drive it, but because of that tough closeout, now Hall can get downhill to his right hand. That's a big time play by a guy who's been a big time player tonight. Malik Hall giving Michigan State a two point lead. To Hall, Malik Hall, tri Hall triple team. It's good help off of Hogarth. You know he's not going to hurt you from three. And wow. he got a good look at that. Max Christie for three. For Norman's 42. Baker way downtown. Got it. How about Gabe Brown? Bingham needs to be as aggressive as possible when catching that basketball. Like that. Is. Back and down boat and taking it to the rim for two. If you're struggling offensively, get it to the bucket. Get it in the post. Let your big man go to work. There's an excellent job of being a facing up instead of trying to back down boat. Goes reverse. <laughs> Final second to the half here. A.J. Hogard to Bingham. Michigan State could use it. And it banks home for Marcus Bingham. Look at the fake. Goes into a shot. Chucky Hepburn can't be in better position defensively. But look at the follow through off glass. Nice job. Up against the clock, Johnson trying to make it happen. Walker with the pilfer. Out to Gabe Brown. Gabe Brown, and Gabe Brown is used to be on this end. 
Malik Hall showing you the athleticism and the big league lob and flood. For a team that's struggling offensively like the Hoosiers are, that's a, a major uphill battle. You're right about that. Hall has it rejected, stays with it. Oh! What? Pete Maravich had that one in his repertoire. That was the first one I've seen. I'm telling you, he got it blocked. Look at this. Stayed with it. That is over the backboard, ladies and gentlemen. And nothing but cotton. <laughs> that was beautiful. Foul one against Marcus uh, Bingham on this end of the floor. His fourth. And Jackson Davis at the line. <laughs> now Sessoms. Quick off the bounce. Getting inside. Having it rejected. Marble coming over. Walker leading the break. Pickett jump stop. Nice. Drops it off Ooh. on a block. Julius Marble right back into the game and blocking the shot big time. This is called protecting the house. Uh. Walker kicks it out to Hauser. And the three goes. Just a second triple for Michigan State. You know, I didn't see it coming to this level. You know, when he first stepped on campus and we were playing pickup games, you know, his offense, the way he scored in so many different ways was so impressive. And then last year, we grew up loving sports in part because of the big red machine. Look out. Brown steps it home. I went back and looked to see when the last Gabe Brown back cut. No Gabe Brown runouts and no Gabe Brown back cuts. And when you're guarding him in the corner, you've got to have an idea that he wants to back cut you. Sasha Stefanovich gets caught watching the basketball. And all of a sudden, Gabe Brown's putting it on a poster. Isn't it amazing what one shot going down it's, early? It changes. The Fortunate to have such a home environment that they do. 15,000 of the brim here. Oh, no way! Bingham reaching over his head for Thunder. Bogart still on the bench. Down to six seconds. Walker under four. Walker fires. He got it! With Trevion Williams, game clock, shot clock winding down. He just rides it right up over the top. He made some big time shots against Illinois, but none as big as this. And Tyson Walker at the biggest moment, making the biggest shot of his Michigan State Spartans career. Aikens from downtown. Big. 82-65. Wide open lane, and Christie gets an and one. They see a bigger player coming, so they're going to just lay this up. Gathers two feet, finishes strong. This is just a beautiful move. And the toughness and strength you want from your young guys. And... Wheeler, shot rejected by Marcus Bingham. He was like, man, get this shot out of here. He saw it, it, it wasn't gonna work. And look, I love Jamari Wheeler. Maybe a pick and roll with Bingham going towards the hoop. Luck for a back screen, here it goes, and back. Marcus Bingham Jr. on a rack attack. Get the tempo going, the back screen was perfect. And when you have a guy who can go up like that at seven feet tall, you just have to get it up in the air, and he goes over the... What's changed for Danny Manning and company? Well, the fact that they haven't turned the ball over. They've made their shots marble. Oh, it goes down! With a shot clock hitting zero. Now that's yeah, good. good. Yeah, look good. Felt good on the live action. Unless you're on the Maryland side. Yeah, look, point two on that shot clock up top. Yeah, this is an open and shut case. Yeah. Count it. Long. Michigan State's got to get to the middle of this zone. Active hands. Akeem Hart, an excellent defender. Hauser lines up a three. Well, maybe that'll shoot him right out of the zone. To come up and take this basketball when it gets to Joey Hauser, he's just a little bit late. Well, really playing that high low. Hogard navigating, kicking it to the corner. Shot clock at one, and as the horn sounds, it goes in for Malik Hall. And here's Malik Hall beating this shot clock, making a play. Clearly, it's going to be good with that right runner. Against the 24 and 6 Badgers. Spartans have Bingham with 
Jordan Davis may finally find him, and how about that pass from Hogarth from the top of the... He's throwing lobs up here to Marcus Bingham, letting the big fella go to work. What... There it is. Look at Raft. Look at Raft. Call it. Empty side. They love that play. <laughs> That's uh, well, you called this one. Sit next to Grant. You pick some things up after all these years, right? Big time.